want to say that we are just kind of devastated and heartbroken by the news that we lost an extraordinary statesman mm -hmm. and person, leader of one of the most influential <coughs> members of Congress, uh, Elijah Cummings. He was 68 years old, and really, what the what a life well lived looks like. Um, wow. I know most of us have met him or had some interaction with him. What a life he had. Yeah. He really did. Such I can't, a, I can't he, believe this. Such a hard I, loss. I didn't know he was sick. I didn't know that yeah, there was we any didn't issues. Know that. No. He is an absolute institution in Congress, an institution, yeah. a lion from a time gone by of bipartisanship. It is a very dark day in America that he has passed, and I was, I couldn't believe it yeah. when I read this morning, and parts sad. to his family yeah. and yeah. his and staff, yeah. because his yeah. staff, and I know what I'm talking about, are really feeling it today, and good on them for keeping this private for as yeah. long as and they did. you know, um, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, who used to be uh, the secretary at the DNC, is mm -hmm. one of my best friends, and mm -hmm. so, um, and is close with his wife. So mm -hmm. I, I did know that he was ill. I didn't know he was this ill. But my uh, best friend, my other best friend's husband was his press secretary. Mm -hmm. um, and so I knew him well. And um, I think everyone is in Baltimore especially mm -hmm. yeah. is so devastated yeah. because he, he was a for fierce them. advocate yeah. for, for yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and as a person who, who lived in Baltimore for many, many years, um, he was so active in the community. I don't mm -hmm. think people realized how this president didn't realize quite how active he was in the community. Yeah. Um, but he, he was just, like you said, a lion. Yeah. And he was such a fierce advocate. And he had, what I loved about him is he, everything was about human connection. Yeah. He fought for what he believed in, but that he also had best friends that didn't think the way that he did. You, I don't know if you guys remember Mark back Meadows. in... Meadows. Yeah, so back mm -hmm. in February, the Michael Cohen hearings, and he was leading those hearings, and there was uh, an awkward moment when Mark Meadows was basically called, uh, said that he was pulling a racist stunt mm -hmm. by Rashida Tlaib, and that moment could have escalated and turned very ugly, and I think we have a clip. This is how he handled that moment. He said that she was not calling you a racist, and... I thought that we could clarify that, that you're one of my best friends. I know that shocks a lot of people. And, and likewise, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. but you are. And I would do, and I could see and feel your pain. I feel it. And so, and I don't think Ms. Salib intended to cause you that. And it was the next day that Rashida Tlaib and Mark Meadows were hugging on the House floor because of the way that, that he handled that situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to be so missed. The, now more than ever do we need people like him <coughs> yeah. representing this country. Well, maybe the best way to pay homage to him is to maybe comport ourselves a little bit better mm -hmm. in this country. Yeah. Maybe we can do a little bit better when we talk to people whose, whose uh, views we don't agree with. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a better way for us to behave. So if we want to pay homage to this extraordinary man, let's, tr let's try being just a little bit better and see if we can make that work. Mm.